Hey, what's up guys? My name is The Channel. Welcome to episode 46 of Game Programming. So today we're going to talk about pretty much just drawing the rest of that sprite. So yesterday we took a look at this, um, this whole sprite thing, drawing the sprite, centering the player, doing all that stuff properly, aligning the player, I guess the camera to the player, making that look really nice. And today we're going to take a look at actually drawing the rest of the player. So you can see that, um, we've got like a quarter of the player drawn. And if we look at the actual sprite, there is obviously four quarters because um, each section is basically the size of one sprite. All right, so that's great. Now, uh, yesterday we actually created, if you, go to the, if you go to the sprite class, which is right over here, um, you'll see that we actually created four sections, I guess, of the sprite. We created player zero, player one, player two, and player three, which dealt with all four corners, which was great. Now, today we're actually going to I guess draw the four corners. So it, it is literally as simple as you probably think it is. Um, over here in player, where we're entering part of the player, well, guess what? If we duplicate that line one more time and draw player one, which I think is the horizontal one, I think. Player one, no, player one's vertical, no. No, player one is horizontal, my bad. Whoops. Um, to declare player one and then simply go X plus 16 then check this out. Bom bom bom. Two sections of the freaking king, king are drawn. And if we duplicate it another two times and go player two and three. And I think player two is Y plus 16 and then um, player three would be both of them plus 16 then Look at that, we've got King Cherno here. All right, so we've got this problem where um, obviously we, we aren't really centered and we still need to move 16 across. So we can do that pretty simply. All we need to do here is just basically say in XX, let's just say, equals um, X like minus 16. And we'll do the same for Y. And then if we just simply replace that with these, then, you know, we should more or less get something that looks a little, little like this and the thing is actually centered. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go, that King Cherno is now centered. Now we have one more problem which I want to deal with today and that is the, um, the, the, the pink stuff. So pink is usually used as a transparent color and um, if we actually open up paint.net, which I'm doing right now, um, then you'll actually see that if we grab the uh, the eyedropper tool and we actually work out what color that is. So um, here we go. You can see that the color is FF00FF. That's the hexadecimal value of the pink of that particular shade of pink, which is full, full, full blue and full red, as you can see. So if we, with that information, we can actually go into our render player method in the screen class and we can um, basically tell it not to render pixels that are of that particular color. So if we hit up integer, like a new integer called cull and C-O-L, that just stands for color, right? And then we'll fill it with the color, with the pixel color. So if we just come in here and basically do that, right? And then set that, set that equal to color. We'll do this one step at a time so you guys get what I'm doing. So what I've done here is I've just defined an, in, an integer to, I've just defined a variable to take that. So I've just switched it out for a variable, which has this exact same value, so which should give the exact same result, of course. And now what I'm gonna do is before it actually renders that, I'm just gonna say only render if color is not equal to 0x that color, which is ff, 0, 0, ff. And it doesn't matter if these f's are lowercase or uppercase, it, same effect, all right? So if color does not equal pink, then render a pixel onto the screen. And if we run that, you'll see that we still get pink. Now. Why do we still get pink? And the reason we still get pink is because the pixels, sprite.pixels, which is what handles it, when we actually use um, the, um, all right, I think it's in sprite sheet actually. Yeah, if we actually use buffered image to load sprite sheet, it doesn't only load RGB, it also loads the alpha channel. So it's basically, it basically loads RGBA. And you can see over here that, you know, we are still using RGB, right? If you go into buffered image, we are still using RGB for this, right? We're using RGB for this, but not for that. So, um, because of that, we kind of need to compensate for that and simply say FF. 
So 0x ff, we just add an ff out front and that'll actually, as you can see, get rid of the pink and create an awesome King Cherno sprite. And that's it. Um, now, a lot of you guys, the top comment actually from yesterday's video said, you know, release the sprite Cherno. <laughs> so I will. Um, you'll find a link in the description and you'll be able to download this. Um, you'll be able to download, you know, this this sprite, this King Cherno sprite and, um, and use it, you know, for rain, for your version of rain. Um, and yeah, so that's cool. The other thing I wanted to mention really quickly is like people have been begging me to do live streams and I don't have time to do live streams. And by live streaming, I mean, um, the Cherno engine live streams. So if you guys want to like, basically, um, if you guys want me to like to do a live stream instead of an episode of game programming, for example, then just let me know and I'll do like Cherno engine development like a one hour or so live stream instead of um, doing a game programming episode that day. So um, so yeah, let me know if you guys want me to live stream more because um, I'm pretty sure you do. So, and tell me what day you want me to live stream as well, like Friday night, Sunday night, whatever, if I'm not busy, obviously. I do have a social life, so uh, so yeah. <laughs> um, but that's a joke, I don't have a social life. Um, anyway, uh, the other thing I wanted to mention quickly was that um, tomorrow we will touch on animating this little beast this little beast of a, of a sprite made by Andy Wall. I still remember his name. All right, see you guys later. Later, haters. Bye.